Bienvenidos a Detrás del Micrófono. Behind the mic. Yo, 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 mi gente. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos, bienvenidos a Behind the Mic. You know what I'm saying? Estamos de vuelta una vez más, mi gente. Tenemos un, un episodio especial esta noche. Hey, this is the, the, hey, this is the special edition tonight. This is the special edition of the All Boys Night Out today. Hell we yeah. got no girls on the podcast today. We got nothing but boys. We got a special guest. We got we got a special guest. We got my boy Homer Lee in the building. Oh, yes, sir. How y'all doing today, my people? We're good. We're good, bro. How you doing? Man, yeah, yeah. how you be feeling, here, man? Thank y'all. Hey, you know. nah, th thank you for coming through, bro, and taking the time to show up and hang out with us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, no doubt, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? I think we we, we met him at the, at the car show, right? Did yeah. you perform at the car show with uh, the, uh, what's it called? Hustle Town, Hustle Town. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? did. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, I think that's that was the time we we With met Carlos each other. Carlos yeah, Carlos, I was at the door right there when For you sure. was coming. Yeah, man, yeah. I, yeah. I remember that, man. Yeah, and fact, I think my boy Chill introduced me to y'all. Oh, for real? My boy Chill. I think it was Chill. Yeah, nah, man. And since then, man, we kept it cool with the boy, and he been he been showing nothing but love, man. We appreciate yeah, that. Man, yeah, yeah. We've been seeing all, all the other mu new music. You just dropped a music video too, right? Yeah. I just dropped uh, another one, uh, Get Down or Lay Down, okay. featuring 1030 Montana, coming out of Austin. Yeah. Yeah, man, he's nice with it. Man. Okay, he's okay. Young and just, man, we just need to push him, man. When, you know? when did this come out? How uh, long ago? Man, I dropped this about a week and a half ago. Oh, it's new, new. Yeah, it's yeah, new. I got to go check it out. Okay, that's new. But we been shot the video uh -huh. about a month and a half, two months ago. Okay. But I was just timing. That's all, just timing. Yeah. Because I already had just dropped another video called uh, I Kept It Real. Uh-huh, uh -huh. So it was about my hood, you know. Okay, so, okay. And I wanted to push that for a little bit. Then I was like, man, I need to push this feature artist because I ain't got no features with nobody. Right, right. Do your fans put pressure on you of dropping music, like, fast? Man, I haven't got there yet. You okay. You know, everybody tells me, uh, yeah. we're here for you. Okay. We support you, and we're ready for the next. The okay, next whenever time, you're ready you know, to bring yeah. us something new, we... We got you. Mm -hmm. That's dope, man. That's dope. Hey, the Jesus, he said, yo, que lo que, que lo que, Monin. Saludos, saludos, saludos. He said, Jesus. no, girls. He said, I'm going to call y'all some strippers. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight, bro. Not tonight. No, mandala, mandala. <laughs> no, send them over here. Nah. Roll the dollars, baby. I got you. <laughs> Say, hey, send them dollars, too, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got some ones. Yeah. <laughs> So what's up, bro? How how do how does uh tell us a little bit about yourself? How does it how does Homer Lee start off his childhood and growing up and then going into the music business? Oh man, so you know, growing up, man, I want to say you know, rest in peace to my grandmother. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, rest in peace, woman, man. Strong woman, you know, but man, she did she did a hell of a job, bro. You know, if anybody messed up, it was me. Oh shit. And uh, man, she gave me everything, man. You know, I grew up, man, blaming. Not having a dad or a mom, man. Yeah, you yeah. Know, just yeah. tripping out. Right. Okay, okay. And that was my excuse. Then one day she just set me down and she was like, man, but they ain't the one suffering for that. Right? Yeah. Like, who's putting food on the table? Who's yeah. got the sky saw over your head? Yeah. Who's right. putting clothes on your back? And, you know, so, and I sit there and I, and I snap, man. I was like, damn, I'm mad at people that yeah. shit. Yeah. But they ain't even there, you know? So and, uh, you, you grew up with your grandma then? Yes. What, what happened to your mom? Like? So no, nah, my mom, she's she's here now. Oh, know? okay, okay, okay. It's just, you know, the life that uh she was living, man, to provide for us, man, mm -hmm. she didn't want to bring it around us. Okay, okay. So I'm not oh, saying okay, that my okay. mother wasn't a good mother, mm -hmm. but she was uh she was uh, she 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 did what she had to right. do. Right. Like, yeah. And uh, you know, when she brought it home to my grandmother, man, it's like we wasn't raised that it was provided from her. Okay. So, oh, okay. You know, we, but you guys we, knew. We, we, no, we didn't know. Oh, you know, okay. Till later. Oh okay. shit. Okay. Okay. You know, okay, okay. That, it, that, that a lot of stuff that we got, me and my sister, was from her. Mm. Right? You know, like our Christmas gifts. And That's dope. She'll come through, but okay. it was just like she didn't want to show, take us into that life that mm. she was in. Okay. What yeah. she had to do to provide, you know. Damn, bro. Yeah, she was. They, they say woman, the, the love of a mother, man. There's, there's nothing like it, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, man. And I wrote a song, man, that, you know, 
So I remember growing up and my people telling me, oh, you just like your mother. Oh, woo, shit. woo, 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 woo. Bro, and I look back and I'm like, damn, I'm glad I'm like my mama. Yeah. Man, my mama was a hell of a woman. Yeah. And she was strong too, right, you know, right. like. So man, I can't believe people would try try to bring you down like that, bro. Yeah, man, you know, but it, it only thing though, it built me. Right. Yeah. It built yeah. me, man, you know. Because man, and I'm bigger than my whole family. Like people think I'm Samoan. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know? So, but I'm not Samoan, man. I'm Mexicano, you oh, know what I'm saying? Man. But I'm bigger than my whole family. Right. But I feel like because when I was young, I was small. Uh -huh. And man, my uncles and them used to, you know, get down on me, man. Oh shit! And you know, I couldn't, you know, I used to try to defend my grandmother when they would get out man. of line with my grandma. And you know, I would try my best, but you know, I get pushed down. You yeah, know? yeah. And then as I got older, man, I'm like, damn, I'm like, damn, God, like you, man, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You mess with me now, you yeah, know? for real, Fuck with quiet, me now. you know. So they really were like, and who's this dude's dad really now? You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But you, yeah. you you met your dad or no? Uh, so I never met my dad. You know, my dad was Dominicano. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's what I've been told all my life. Right, right, but right, I, right. But I knew my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I knew Papito, my grandfather, mm -hmm. on that side, you know. But uh, I never actually got to meet my dad. Man, okay, you know, okay. Because by the time... He passed. As I got, no, as I got older, he was uh, wanted from oh, the FBI, uh, so... You know, okay. he took off. Damn. And Damn. Yeah, I didn't want to speak too much on it. Yeah. No, no, I respect yeah, I it. I respect yeah. it. Bro. Yeah, man. So that's the story. Like, I can't sit here and say that my dad wasn't a good dad or he was a sorry dad. Yeah. Or he was a no good dad. Yeah, yeah. My mama. Right, You right. know, because the story is my mother told me that she left him. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, no, I can't grow up saying that, hey, my dad was a no beat. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I feel like also the older you get, the wiser you get, right? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And you 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 start viewing things differently in a sense that like you're like, all right, cool. You start accepting things yeah. and not let it be a burden on you at all. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, you yeah. start, you'll be like, all right, cool. You know what? This was my childhood growing up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's up to me now to change it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, because if we stay stuck in the past on what happened to us in the sense of whatever it was, you know what I mean? You sometimes you don't get out of that cycle. Yeah. Know? You know what I'm saying? So it's I feel like it takes within yourself to be like, all right, cool. You know what? I went through X, X, and Y, and Z, but cool. I'm here. Bro. Let's make, hey, let's yeah. make life a better place for, that's good. for you yourself. Speak, you know that's what I'm good saying? You speak on there, bro, because, you know, even to this day, I tell people that. I break cycles. Right. Okay. Right. Like, hey, we what have you to talking about. They're like, bro, I break I break generation curses and Damn. cycles. Like, right. Like what oh, we're, we're used to this way, but right. we ain't doing it this way no more. Facts, bro. You know I facts. Man, that's fire. That's fire. I fuck with that. And uh man, I gotta clap for that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, it was good, bro. That's facts, bro, because in a sense, it's like I had a tough dad growing up. Mm -hmm. But you know, like sometimes it's like, man, he never showed me love. So, you know, when I was younger, I used to be like, man, he never fucking showed me any type of love. But then again, you, like I said, you get older, you start realizing, you're like, well, shit, he never showed me love, but he was tough on my ass. Oh. So he made, me, he made me do something with myself, you know what I'm saying, to like, you know, learn how to grind, how to work, mm -hmm. you know, provide, et cetera. Yeah. In a hard way, right? No, no, I bro, I tell you, up to this day, for me to hug my dad is awkward, bro. Yeah, bro, yeah. You know what I'm so. saying? So... So I, I'm a is, I'm a witness to that, oh, man. Yeah, bro, yes, man. I've been knowing him, bro. We go back. We, yeah. We've been friends for 20 years now. Ooh. Yeah, that's so, my brother right there, man. Yeah, and then know, the crazy, I, I got one like that. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, like his family is from the same place. My family's from Honduras, Damn. from the same little town. So they've got I don't know how many no, years no, of knowing no, each no, other. No, no, no. And then me and him at a high school. And it was yeah. just like we just met and we clicked, and then that, that after that is a wrap, crazy, bro. You you gonna know, right? Yeah. You just gonna know, bro. right? You know, just no. But you know what's so crazy, bro? Like you know, he's he's in the music scene, and you know we heard some of your stuff. It's pretty fire, right? Thank you, bro. Bro, once you make it and you make that movie about your life, mm -hmm. that's gonna be a story. Oh, it's bro. Coming. Yeah, you you don't have to, you can make a series out that motherfucker. Bro, I'm <laughs> telling you, no, man. It's coming, man. Hey, that's crazy. You speak on that because. I just did a movie. Oh shit! Okay. I, but I signed a contract. 
Okay. So I can't I can't oh, talk about okay. it. Okay. Okay. okay so, but it's a short film. Okay. It's okay. gonna be a so far I could tell you you know it's gonna be a comedy action. Okay. Movie. Okay. Okay. You know, That's man, what's up, like, bro. You know, all my life people tell me too because I be so serious that it be funny. Right. Oh, so okay. we learn to turn that seriousness to funny. Right. You know? and like. And we created something, man. You know, oh, shout shit. out to OP Films, man. You know, all right, fire. Yeah, that's what's that's up, coming bro. out this year or maybe next year. Uh, nah, it's coming out this year. It's working. It should okay. be like out in another month, man. Oh, okay. shit. You okay. got to come back so, and talk yeah, about yeah, it, man. Yeah, you know, I am. Oh, for sure. Come through. Come through. So, yeah, that's just something in the work, right? Right, now, right, right. That's right, fire. Right. That's fire. So, um, when you started doing music, man, so crazy story, man. Four months ago, um, I was just freestyling. Devin the dude heard me. And he was like, hey, kid, you got something, man. Yeah. I don't know you're trying to take it serious or pursue it or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. And, you know, man, I heard him. And my partner was like, damn, bro, that's Devin the dude. You know, like. Yeah, yeah. You know. Right, right. We don't know who he be complimenting, but he complimented you today. So. Right. You know, and I just brushed it off, man, and did, went out through my day. And then, you know, my friend Nate, shout out to Rabbit's Got the Gun, man. You know, he called me and he was like. Say, bro, I'm finna put together a show with Bo Bundy and Young Easy. Damn. You know, so he was like, man, I want you there, bro. I want you there. You need to get in the studio. If I got to pay for it, I'll do it. Damn. But, you know, my brother Mike and Ali came through for me. Yeah. Shout out to Ali from Dean's Houston. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man, they made it happen for me. Got me in the studio, oh, and I took it serious, man. We listened to some beats, and I went to writing, but it was new to me writing on the phone yeah okay okay it's complicated man because okay. you know i'm new to it you know yeah, so yeah. i'm used to the pen and pad yeah yeah right 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 old throw bag you know uh, yeah so so before you so before you went away because i kind of wanted to touch base on that okay uh so what how old were you when you end up incarcerated yeah Man, I was 17 years old man. damn you were a baby. baby yeah i was a baby man 17 years old so, you know, when I came to tell you about, you know, my grandmother did a good job and, right, right. you know, well, around 16 going on 17, my mother, she signed off on the apartment for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, I was staying in the heart of my neighborhood, man, Campbell okay. and Campwood. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, it was a bad neighborhood, gang infested neighborhood. Yeah. But, man, this is going to surprise you. It wasn't the gangs that got me incarcerated. And you would think, man, being around all right, right. And doing what you got to yeah, do, yeah, yeah. your gang, and but that ain't what got me incarcerated, man. Like nothing to do with my gang. Mm. Uh, it was, you know, just uh, bad choices, but it was self defense choices, man. Like you know, I had got a call. Uh, they told me, "Hey, man, some people they're trying to set you up if you come back to the house." Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, "Okay, good. Appreciate you. Why are you helping me out when that's your people?" Yeah, and he was like, man, because you've been good to us, bro. Mm. You don't got us in the shows. And at the time, my brother was my management. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so you were making music yeah, then. Yeah, okay, young, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. man. I got a song with a uh, big pokey, man. It's no still, way. It's still on YouTube, man. Like no big shit. Pokey probably wouldn't remember me. Yeah, but you know, man, I, it's that's still on YouTube, though. though. So that's the proof. Hey, hey, that's, that's facts. The proof, brother. Hey. And then it's a, and then it's an English. What's it called? What's it called? It's called uh BSO. Uh, Man, uh, in the sky, in the sky, okay, in the sky. we gotta BSO check it out. BSO, we BSO check out. featuring Big Pokey. Oh, okay, okay, was, uh, BS, BSO, we was a group, okay, so it was my whole group featuring Big Pokey, okay, okay. so everybody that was in my group is on that song, okay, and I was the first one, the first verse, okay, so okay. yeah, man, when I did that, man, I was 15 going on 16, okay, okay, when I did that right there, man, Damn. yeah, it's in the sky, BSO, okay, featuring yeah. Big Pokey. Man, that's crazy. Honestly, I I love that shit. Like when I make music, people is afraid to go on the first verse. Man, that's my favorite oh, one, bro, man. I make it hard for everybody, yeah, man. bro. I love going so, first in tracks, man. That shit's so, that's just dope. So what got me incarcerated, man, was you know, Katrina happened. Oh shit. And a lot of people came from out there from New right, Orleans, right. man. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out to New Orleans, man. I love y'all, man. You know, that's where my girl's from. Okay. She's from New Orleans, you know. Uh, you been you been over there? Yeah, she oh, took me out there. Okay, the first okay. time you know she showed me around. Oh, I never been. Around. I gotta go, man. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful, man. People are there. They're beautiful people. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, yeah, man. You know, the dudes. You know, just like I, I guess it, it could be anybody, bro. It just so happened to be them though, wanting to hurt me. Okay. Or whatever, man. And then, you know, I always say it was self defense, man. You know, 
we both shot at each other and I happened to hit. Okay. All these end up jamming me up and so forth, so forth, man. You know, yeah, brother? yeah. Okay. And uh yeah, man, that's how that story happened, brother. You know, and they got me because they said that uh I didn't have paperwork for my for my gun, mm. which I didn't. Right, right. But back then in 05, Texas was hard on you, man. Like mm. Yeah. You know, so they got me my time off of me not having papers. Oh, like you had papers, you could have won it on a self defense. Damn. So, yeah, man. Fuck, bro. So that's how they end up happening, man. Okay. That's how that so they happen. even acknowledged that it was, yeah. you were trying to defend yourself. That, that's how that ended up happening. Damn. And I got 30, I got, I mean, I got 14 years because my lawyer knew the DA and the prosecutor. Okay. Mm. And that's the only what helped me because. Man, they came at me with 35 years. Oh shit. Yeah, they came at me with 35 years, man. Damn. Ooh, I still, be, shit, I still but... be locked up. Like <laughs> that, hey, that's true. But man, 14 years ain't easy yeah. either. No, it ain't. It ain't, man. It wasn't a walk in the park. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so man. okay, so you so you get incarcerated at what 17? 17. Do you go to like youth or uh, nah man? Uh they sent me to 701, the big house. Oh shit. 701, seven floor, gladiator floor. Oh really? Yes, it's, it's wild. Well, in it, what, in Harris or where? In Harris County. Yes. Oh, shit. Nothing, nothing but youngsters, man. Yeah. So you know you're on your toes at all ten, and you know I didn't know it. You know my 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 video was all raza. It was all Mexicans and Salvadorians, okay. bro. Okay. And you know I'm thinking in here like it was just gonna be you know you just go in there, man. It was already segregated. Oh, I shit. learned segregation. From the county, man. Right. The youngster tank, man. When I walked in there, man, I already seen it. Okay. I already knew where to go put my book bag at. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, mm -hmm. brother. Like, what, was, what was your thoughts going in there? You know, at 17, man, everything's so, segregated. You're going into a gladiator where shit, shit pops off. Yeah, I'm assuming was, that's why they call it the gladiator, right? right. So, oh, what what was going through your mind at that time? Like, in the sense, it's like, fuck, something new to you, something that you're definitely not used to. You know what right. I'm saying? But I wasn't used to it, but I've been around it. Mm. Okay. Because the people that I hung around, they were already teaching me. We was already talking in sign language, bro. No, oh, okay. no, no play. Yeah. I could be at the store and I could look across the street and they'll do this, woo, woo, woo. And I already knew what they were saying. Okay. So it's the same thing in prison. We talked okay. a lot with our hands. Oh, okay. And we talked a lot with our eyes. Okay. You know? So it's not like a lot of talking. Right, right. You know? So yeah, man, that was new to me. You had to pick up quick. And uh man, from the street, I already had a reputation. I didn't even know it. Mm. When I went in there, man, okay. there was already a lot of my homeboys, a lot of rival enemies already from my neighborhood. Oh man. shit. So it was like, oh shit, home elite. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I had it good and I had it bad. The bad part was people wanted to try you. Yeah. Okay. But it wasn't my people. It was so different people yes, that yes, heard. Yes, yes, yes. Damn. Yes, you know what I'm saying? But we got down, man. Like, I didn't waste no time, bro. And this is how it started, man. It, like, Sauce Walker had made this song when I got incarcerated, uh, you know, in the county, fighting over a piece of a brownie. Mm. I don't know if y'all remember Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I started laughing, man, because that right there was so true, man. Like an individual actually reached in my tray. No and shit. Took my brown. Oh, man. Man. Bro, I was hungry that day. <laughs> I didn't eat nothing. Right. I grabbed that thick brown tray and went all upside his head with it, bro, and laid yeah. him out right there. Okay. Laid it out. The laws came in. I laid on the ground. Mm. Okay. Because over there, Man, they'll kill you, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. The, the white shirts, mm -hmm. yeah. the black shirts, they'll kill you. Don't play over there. Okay. They'll break your nose. Your nose will go into your head and you'll Ooh. die, man. Damn. So you have to lay it down and you have to be gentle when they ran up in there, bro. Because oh, you they cover yourself, yeah. Back then, they were killing people, bro, Damn. and blaming it on us. Right. That we resisted. Mm. That's how they got out of it. Right. We resisted. So they had to use all type of force, man. Damn. So, yeah, it was scary, bro. Oh, shit. That's it was crazy. scary, man. So I okay, so you end up going to after that. After that, man, I, I go to court. I you know, this was crazy. I start going to court for my trial and stuff. And uh the mother's there of the victim. Okay. You know, oh, and uh man, she comes down to me, man. And my lawyer, he's telling me, man, you know, hey, hang in there, you know, 
Don't say nothing. Calm. Don't say nothing. Be hard. Okay. You know, but this mother comes up to me and she's like, man, I prayed all this time <sighs> that somebody will kill you in there. Oh, my God. That somebody will hurt you deeply in there. Yeah. Because you, you, you hurt my baby, my baby boy. Damn. And in my mind, I'm like, man, this dude was just as ruthless as I was. Right, yeah. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And it could have been the other way around. That could have been, been you, the mom. Other way around. And you know, and I and I realized that to our mothers and to our grandmothers are just to our people, man. Right. Huh. That no matter how the world sees us, our family will never look at us. Yeah. Like right, us. right. And this woman hugged me, bro. Mm. And she told me, I forgive you. God told me in order to be forgiven and have a place in his kingdom that I had to forgive you. Damn. And I forgive you, man. And I love you. And, bro, I swear to God, man. Yeah. I started crying and everything, man. Oh, yeah. shit. That's very. You no, know, it, it was deep. Yeah. It yeah. Was yeah deep, that's man. deep. It was deep, man. Yeah. Damn. I, Damn. Yeah, man. You know. The Jesus said 701. Damn it, man. Been there. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You that's relate, crazy, man. bro. Yeah, bro. So, um, so they gave you fourteen. So yeah, they gave me fourteen, and I went to the big house. Okay. Mm. So now going to the big house, whole different ball game. You got to shave your head. They spray chemicals on you. Make sure you ain't got no lice. Mm -hmm. or hose on you. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shit. None of that. Yeah, they do all that. You know what I'm saying? You got to shave everywhere under your arms. It goes down. Ain't no privacy. Oh, there. really? Yeah, when you, you go, gotta shave when, everything, everything. When That's you go in there, when you go in there, ain't no privacy. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You bust it down. You hear right, me? right, right, right. And I don't know. No, no, for sure, stuff, for sure. Right. Yeah. It's just how it is. That's yeah. how it is in there. Yeah. You know, these 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 correctional officers, they own your life. Right. They run you. And I remember growing up, and I used to be thick, you know, hardhead with my grandmother. She told me, "Yeah, man, hey, one day you're gonna mind somebody." If you don't mind me now, one day you're going to mind somebody. Right. And I used to That's be like, crazy. damn, I miss my grandmother, I, man. I, I, I've, seen a, I've seen a couple of uh, different podcasts and stuff, and they said that, bro, that's the worst thing that they do to you is like when you got to strip naked so they dignity, can check. Man. Yeah, they your dignity. You, of your dignity. Exactly. you don't got that no more, bro. Damn. That's crazy. You don't got that no more. So you, you start to get numb to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's a lot crazy. of stuff don't even matter to you no more. It's about making it out right, of here, right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I just imagine if if somebody tells you take your take your pants off, you're gonna be like, Well, what the fuck? Yeah, no, you know what I mean? But in there, you ain't got a choice, you gotta fucking take that shit down. Yeah, yeah. Bro, wow. it, don't, it don't matter in there, brother. You know what I'm saying? So, what was your thoughts going into the big house? Man, like here we go. <laughs> but I gotta adapt to my environment, right? yeah. You know, I was I was it's like it's like you become like a fucking lying in the in the king like yeah. you know you're just trying to survive and yeah, so you gotta man. adapt to that shit. so you know and then and there man you got all different type of personalities right you got people that think they're gorillas lions apes right man mm -hmm. you got everything in there man bro and the you thing know, the crazy everything. thing i i think of is like like let's say us three you gotta see the same fucking faces every fucking day every day and you know sometimes i might be having a bad day and then he's having a bad, bad day. day. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I feel like, bro, that, that shit could clash quick. And that's how it be sometimes. Right, right. Man. But you can't think because thinking is called hesitation. Okay. So you know how people say, think about what you do? Yeah. And there, you can't think about what you do. Okay. If you think about it, you hesitate. If you hesitate, you're scary. If you're scary, you can't handle your own. Ooh. So when you go to the store, you shoot there. They, they tell you, a few things they say you 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 ride you fuck or you bust that 85. Mm. What's which, the, which one is it what's the bus 85. go to that commissary window with that list and go get everything i put on that list okay. oh shit. you're going mm. to the okay. store for yeah. me right you know right saying? okay so you're yeah. punking them to get your shit. yeah okay yeah, man. Damn. So you ain't got time to really just sit there and play around. Yeah. So when I, you know, first block I stepped on, shout out to all my people, 20, I mean, 12, 12, zero, Savage Drive. That's Ferguson unit. Mm -hmm. That's the, like, the only unit I've really been on, man. Okay. okay. And you ask about Ferguson unit, man. It's a real strong unit, man. And it's one of the hardest units in Texas. 
So I land on D block, boom. They hit the door and they were like, stay homie, where you from? You know, Houston, I read my city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gonna, you gonna hold it down, man? I'm gonna hold it down, man. Okay, we're gonna see what you're talking about when you come into this day room. That's a bit, brother. Shit. I ain't never get a chance to make it to the day room because when I was taking my stuff to three row, I got into it with somebody up there and we fought right there. Oh, damn. Yeah, so you know, uh, they watched out for us. When the laws was coming, we broke it up. But I kept fighting. The dude got the best of me. You know, this is my first fight in a real unit. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I didn't stop. Okay. You know, I had heart, man. I didn't stop, man. Like, mm. this dude, he, he just didn't know, like, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, okay? yeah. So, you know, I was bleeding so bad that this dude gave up. He was like, man, bro, he can have that fight. Mm, damn. He got, I didn't have nothing, bro. Yeah. You know, on the street, I got you or I got you. Right. Yeah. That, that, you know? Yeah, yeah. I learned how to fight. While I was incarcerated, man. Okay. I had size. Yeah. But I didn't have hands, man. Yeah. I like that in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, over time, you know, I didn't win all my fights. Right, right. I still got all my teeth. Hey. Yeah. Man, people come about that thing with no teeth. <laughs> you hear me? Like, for real. Yeah. Bro, I was just about to tell you that too. I was like, yeah, bro, you actually man. got good teeth, bro. <laughs> to be, yeah, get man. into all fights and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy bro so what was one of the biggest things that kept you going every day in there my grandmother okay and, you know i still had her okay and you know every day you know uh not every day but every other day i'll get a letter from her and i see the tears on the paper damn oh and fuck that, that'll hurt me bro. yeah you know that yeah hurt hell me. yeah that hurt anybody bro yeah. you, know, because, you, you know, guys were really her. close yeah she was my everything man oh, you know shit. what i'm saying and that comes to about, you know, me not smoking and doing a lot of things I don't do because I sacrificed a lot of stuff to right, allow right. her to, exp so God can expand her life. Right. You know mm, okay. Okay. That's where that come in at. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I respect that, man. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, hey, I've been through some shit, man. Yeah, facts. And uh, I'm not blaming nobody. I'm not even blaming myself because I, I look at myself where I am now. Right. Right. You know, I always tell people I'm not in the best position, but if I wake up breathing, I'm in the best position. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm here, man. Let's yeah. get it. That's facts. Mm -hmm. So you touched a little bit. I wanted to talk a little bit about the segregation in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How exactly whenever you went to the big house. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was how, real, how is it? How is it? How is it divided? Is man, what I'm, I'm asking. Tell you, I'm going to tell you. It's divided two ways. And this is how they say it in there, you know, amongst the blacks and the browns. Mm -hmm. You got Africa over there and you got Mexico over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the white boys, well, you know, they sit on the floor. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't know. It's you know, I ain't been there. Right, 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 right. You know, but Why you were there. Yes. Okay. And, and that's how it was, you know what I'm saying? Like tables done turned, man. Yeah. You know how they used to call, you know, the black man boy. Yeah, now they call the whites boys. Okay, and they get offended by that now. You yeah, know yeah, okay. yeah, man. Uh, that's how it basically is, man. You come in there, you get down with your people, uh, you know, get your heart check out. But the, the way, but man. do y'all talk to like like for example? Yeah, we lace them up, man. Okay. What to do, what not to do. But like, let's say if you you talk to somebody a morenito or something, can you still talk to them? Uh, man, really, not my job to lace them up. No, 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 but I'm just saying, like, hold a conversation. Oh, yeah, we can hold, yeah okay. we can hold a conversation. Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. We can hold a conversation. Now, we do say, you know, whatever else you do past that, mm -hmm. it, it, the, 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 the degree is going to be on what you do. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. because there were certain things that we couldn't do. Right, right. You know, so. Right. But that was for both sides. Okay. Both sides, you know. Some older cats would trip or they would eat with the opposite yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. What what about if you become cool con un morenito and then you you defend him when he gets into some shit? Man, if you're smart, you're not gonna fuck with him. Okay. You won't put yourself in that situation. Because if he fucks with you like that, uh-huh, he'll never put you in that position to right, have you get right. out there. Okay, form. okay, okay, okay. And and I say this, I, I'm gonna speak on you know, I'm gonna give you an example. Uh -huh. Let's say this morenito is my friend. But you're my homeboy. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I'm cool with Homer Lee, but yeah. you know what? Uh he he's he's in the gang. Let me go see if he'll fuck with me. And I got him because you know he sees me fucking with Homer Lee every day. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you go get, you know, some cookies or whatever. And 
to store day. Yeah. yeah. Store day come and you're thinking, oh, that's that's my partner's boy. He's gonna be all right if I don't. Yeah, nah, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, it don't work like that. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. And people do lose their lives behind principle. Right? Oh, and the principle is, man, that's only a, it only was a dollar, man. You tripping over a dollar? Yes. Because right. you, because word and principle. Right. You said you had me on store day, and principle is that it was just only a dollar. I need that back. Yeah. Ah, shit, yeah. You no, know, so yeah, your word is you ain't got your word, brother. You, so you know pretty saying? much word is bond. Yeah, yeah. So but since I've been home, I've been dealing with people that they don't know how to keep their word. Yeah. And you know, at first, at first I would get mad. Yeah. But then my brother tells me, he said, Home Lee, these people ain't been where you've been, bro. That's facts. They ain't been taught about word. Mm. You can't yeah. put that on them, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's the way you are, who you are. That's what makes you. Yeah, that's why right. when I tell people, I'm like, man, I'm, it's only one of me, but it's a thousands of you. They never understood that. Yeah, yeah. but it, I break it down like this, man. Like my moral and values are strong, and I stand on that. Yeah, if I say I'm there, I'm there. Right. And if I'm not there, I'm gonna call you and let you know I can't make it. Yeah. But I'm not gonna never just sit and have you there waiting for me. Right. Right. And no car, no show. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Right. Nah, brother. Yeah. It's just like I told you. I was like, just pull up at eight forty-five. You're like, nah, bro. I'm gonna 